all right everybody welcome back to barbells and burnout so uh as always we are working on her today we're working on the s2000 but i have a surprise for you guys someone that you guys haven't seen in 50,000 years say what's up to everybody what's up <laughs> it's ken so those of you who don't remember ken ken is one of my good good friends from huntsville he is here visiting me here in atlanta he brought his slow civic out <laughs> that I'm gonna gap but before I do that I am working on the S today okay so we're not doing anything crazy um, but I figured I would just film it anyway I have been having issues since I put the check engine not the check engine sorry I put the test pipe on the S2000 I actually broke off my downstream um, O2 sensor so the car has been running extremely rich um, so I figured I was like let me get one and put it on now also uh, when I did my alternator recently I made the mistake of not fastening down the bolts on the alternator so I've been having issues with the back um, bolts on the hot wire so we're gonna fix that today as well alright so stay tuned alright guys so apparently I'm an idiot um, we just went under there and I have an O2 sensor fully in there I don't know why it was giving me a code saying it wasn't it might have just been me uh, paranoid thinking about it for some reason thinking I need a new O2 two sensor or oh, whatever now I have a spare O2 sensor right so now we're gonna fix this issue that I was having back here with the ground hot wire not ground sorry the hot wire that I have here on the alternator it's been sparking back and forth um, been acting like it's about to die the battery lights been coming on I should say so I'm gonna put a spacer in there and see if it works Hopefully it does. Yes, sir. That boy Ken with them small hands coming through, boy. Wait, get extension. An extension? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the fun part is, I told you guys that I lost the bolts, right, for the back of the alternator. Here I am opening up my <laughs> my um, tools kit, and the freaking bolt is sitting right there. Talk about luck. So we're just gonna throw that on the back and call it a day. Let me tell y'all something. This guy Ken is a dickhead, all right? <laughs> so Ken noticed that I um, might have air in my um, cooling system because um, the hose was very, very soft and we just pressed out some bubbles. So he's like, yeah, let's do it. Um, let's, let's just bleed it. I'm like, oh, I need to open the valve, um, put on a, 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 one of the, the, the funnels. He's like, I don't have a funnel. We just do it that way. I was like, mm, it's gonna spill over. He's like, no, I'll be fine. What do we do when it when it it, it started up? It fucking spilt over, you dickhead. I hate this guy, man. I hate this guy. All right, so we bled it as best as we could. Um, so she looks, she's kind of great. Still not the best. I might have to do a little bit more bleeding. I might have to actually open up the valve on it and see if I can get some air out that way. But we did the best kind of like hand bleed that we could, all right? So we're gonna go take this beautiful car, go take some quick pictures, maybe a little bit of video, maybe a little bit of drone video. Um, and I'll put that in here for you guys, but Make sure that you um, subscribe, like, and share the video. Thank you guys for watching the quick video. Uh, tell Ken he needs to be on the video more later on and come visit me more often. No, he don't even want to see. He just wants to smile. But I'll see you guys later, all right? Enjoy these videos. Enjoy these pics. And I'll catch you guys.